The first lesson of this course pertains to how to write a major scale, a natural minor scale, a harmonic minor scale, and a melodic minor scale. So there's four different types of scales we're going to do. Each one of these notes has all four of those scales built onto it. So if I play the note C, you can write a C major scale, a C natural minor scale, a C harmonic minor scale, and a C melodic minor scale. And if I play the note C sharp, you can write a C sharp major scale, a C natural minor, a C sharp natural minor scale, a C sharp harmonic minor scale, and etc. etc. So there's a whole lot of scales to play on the piano. But the first thing that you need to remember is that the first note of every one of these scales, no matter which note it starts on, is always called the tonic. Tonic is a really important word because it's the home base of a scale, and scales are what a lot of composers use to write their music. They'll choose one scale, and they'll take the notes out of the scale, and they'll make music out of it, but the tonic note is always the most important. Usually when you hear a piece of music, the first note you're hearing, often, not always, but usually the first sound you hear in a piece of music is the tonic of that scale that the composer has chosen to use, and quite often the last note in the piece of music is also the tonic, so it's a really important note. So I'm going to play a C major scale now. There's seven notes plus one in this scale, because we play the tonic twice once we get up to an octave. So here's a C major scale. We can start on the note C. That scale to be one, it's the tonic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which is the tonic again, so you might be able to call it one again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So every one of the scales we're going to learn today has, has eight slash seven notes in it. Okay, so sometimes I watch music theory teaching videos on YouTube and stuff, because I'd like to see what other teachers say. And um, there's one thing that really drives me bonkers. If you're going to Google how to write scales, you will come across a plethora of videos that say that um, the teacher will turn on his camera and they'll say that modes and scales are the same thing. Okay, now most of you don't know what modes are, but I just need to provide this disclaimer. Modes and scales are not the same thing. And the reason is, I just taught you what a tonic is. Modes do not contain a tonic. When you write music with a major scale, it's expected that the tonic is the most important note in the key, and it, it kind of represents home on a long journey. Modes do not have this. The reason modes don't have a tonic is because modes do not have a leading tone. So, in the scales we're going to learn today, the two most important notes are, one, the tonic, which you already know, and then there's this other thing called the leading tone. And the leading tone's job is to reinforce the tonic. Now, in all the scales we're learning today, a leading tone exists one semitone lower than the tonic note. So, I'll go back and play the C major scale. Leading, the leading tone is scale degree 7. So, one tonic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the leading tone. And it goes up to the tonic. It's the tension between this leading tone and the tonic that makes uh, music sound like it resolves and makes the audience feel like they've come back home after a long journey. And uh, again, the tonic and leading tone can be in any scale. So here's an A major scale. When we're playing an A major scale, the first note again is called the tonic even though it's a different note. So this is the tonic. And here's the leading tone, G sharp to A, one semitone apart. And G sharp, the leading tone, confirms the A in this case. You can have a D major scale. In this case, D is the tonic. Tonic. And in this case, C sharp is the leading tone. And the tonic rises and goes up to D. Okay. There's two other important scale degrees you need to know for this uh, early music theory lesson. It's uh, the subdominant and the dominant. The subdominant is the fourth note of a scale called scale degree four. I might refer to it like that. And the dominant is the fifth note of the scale, uh, scale degree five. 
So here, now I'll play an A flat major scale and I'll say all the names as we go. So it starts on A flat, A flat is the tonic. We have tonic, it's a number two, three, four. We now know it's called the subdominant. Scale degree five is an E flat, it's called the dominant. The seventh note of an A flat major scale is G and we're calling it the leading tone and the leading tone goes up to A flat, the tonic again. So there are eight notes in that scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tonic, subdominant, dominant, leading tone, tonic. Okay. So those are all our important names you need to know uh, for this course. Each one of those, each each uh, scale degree has its own name, but for what we're doing right now, you just need to know tonic, subdominant, dominant, and leading tone. Okay. So now you're wondering how you're, well, you're thinking, stop talking and tell me how to write them so I can do my theory exam. Okay, fine, I'll do that. So, here's the steps to writing a major scale. Not minors, we're starting with major scales. So, the steps are, write down the key signature, write down the tonic note, write all the other notes in stepwise motion going up to the next tonic, and then if the question asks you to also write the descending version of the scale, then you come back down to the original tonic. Okay? That's with a key signature, and if the question says write a major scale without the key signature, then you just start on the tonic, go up an octave, down an octave, and then remember your key signature and add it into the music itself. Make sure you leave enough space in between your notes so uh, you have room to write the accidentals. So that's easy. So if I was asked to write an E major scale, I would think E major has four sharps. I would write my key signature down, then I would write the tonic note of E, which is E. <laughs> And then I would write up stepwise motion, up an octave to the note E, and then all the way down. If it said ascending and descending. Okay, that's major. The steps for writing a natural minor scale is a little bit more difficult because you don't know what the key signature is just by looking at the tonic. To find out the relative, you have to find out to figure out what the key signature of a natural minor scale is, you have to count up three semitones and figure out and uh, figure out what that note is and then steal that note's key signature. What do I mean by that? So if I'm asked to write uh, an F minor scale, the tonic is obvious, an F minor natural scale, the tonic is obviously F. And in order to figure out F minor's key signature, I have to go up three semitones. F, one, two, three is an A flat. Okay? So, I know that the key of A flat major has four flats. So, to write an F minor scale, I'm going to steal A flat major's key signature of four flats and add those into the F minor scale, and I will get a natural minor scale that sounds like this. Natural minor scales are interesting because they don't have leading tones. A leading tone exists one semitone below the tonic, and as you see here, F to E flat is not a semitone, it's a whole step. It's not a half step, it's a whole step. So, this is the only scale we're learning today that doesn't have a leading tone. That's fine. Now let's try F minor harmonic. And the difference between an F minor harmonic scale and an F minor natural scale is that it does have a leading tone. So to create a, to create a harmonic minor scale, what you have to do is you have to find scale degree 7 and raise it by one semitone. So the seventh note of F minor was that E flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now to make it harmonic, we replace this E flat with one semitone higher, the E natural. So when we play an F minor scale, Instead of playing E flat, we hit E and go up and down. That's F minor harmonic. And lastly is the melodic scale. Let's make an F minor melodic scale. In a melodic scale, when the scale is ascending, you raise scale degree 6 and 7 by one semitone. And when the scale degree goes back down the piano, you lower them back to normal. Okay? This is different than harmonic. Don't get this confused. 
A harmonic scale, you raise the leading tone, or sorry, you raise scale degree seven on both sides, up and down. In a melodic minor scale, you go up and raise six and seven, and when you come back down, you lower them. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven have been raised, tonic. Now they're lowered. So on the way up, we played D and E. And on the way down, we play E flat and D flat. That's a lot to think about. Let's go do it on the board so we don't forget.